Hi there, Valiant Technology here with another tech tip. In this video, we're going to talk about formatting your Gmail signature. Let's get started. First, access your signature by going to Settings, See All Settings, and scroll down to the Signatures section. If you're starting from scratch, click Create New. You can select your font from the list, change the size, edit the normal font settings like bolding something or italicizing, and changing the color, either of the background or the text. You can also add links, either to a website or your LinkedIn or other social media, and images. When adding images, you can either add something straight from your Google Drive, upload an image from your computer, or enter the web address of the image you want to use. If you click on the image, you can resize it pretty easily. There are also other settings like text alignment, numbered lists, or more for formatting options like quoting and indents. One thing to keep in mind is that even though there are a lot of options for formatting, there are some things that are unavailable. For example, if you're composing from scratch, you only have the use of these standard fonts to choose from. But there is a workaround. If you open another application and type something out using your selected font, you can copy and paste it right into your signature. And then anything you type after that will be using the same font. Or you can copy and paste an already made signature. However, you may find if you're copying and pasting a whole signature, it might not be an exact duplicate of your formatting. For example, all of my pictures disappeared. If this happens, you can make a few little edits. Or if it's very off from what you want, I recommend highlighting the whole thing clicking the for more formatting options and removing all formatting. Then you've got the text you need and you can format it from scratch. Now here's a pro tip. When you're making a signature in Word, if you wanna do something like aligning a text to the side of an image, you can do that easily using tables. Since tables are compatible in Gmail signature formatting, this is an easy way to get your images, such as a picture of yourself or social media icons exactly where you want them. So in my Word document, I'm going to insert a table. I'm just gonna do a two by one, readjust the size to approximately where I want them to be. The first cell I'm gonna leave blank. This is where my image is going to go, but we're gonna add that in Gmail after we put the signature in. Over here, I'm gonna enter all my text information. You can see it's already in the font I chose. And then lastly, I'm going to click on the table and remove all borders for a nice sleek look. Then highlight. Copy in Word, paste in Gmail, and then you can make your adjustments, such as I am going to add my picture here, resize it so it looks exactly how I want. From here, you can still add more adjustments. If you forgot something, you want to add something new, change things up a little, whatever. And make sure when you're done, you scroll to the bottom and click Save Changes. If that still doesn't work for you, there are third-party signature services that you can employ. Just talk to your IT team about options and requirements. For more tech tips and useful how-tos, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us at thevaliantway.com slash KB. Bye-bye.